I'm about to come out of the closet with a new one. A new one. You ready for this one? I'm codependent. I just realized I'm codependent. You know, it's another thing that they try to make you think is something's wrong with you to keep you small. Like, like I can't depend. You know what depend means? Depend means to rely on. Co means together. Co means a mutual partnership. So you mean to tell me that I'm married to a man that I'm together with in a mutual partnership, but I can't depend on him? Like, how dumb is that? Like, how dumb is that? I gotta think all these things through, you know, because I used to think one way. Like, I used to think that I had to do everything on my own, that I couldn't depend on anybody, or somehow I was a sellout. You know, but I learned that you can only go so far on your own. I mean, I can be amazing, because let's face it, I am. <laughs> right? <laughs> Thank you. I can go so far on my own, but I cap out. Everybody caps out. The purpose of a co-existence with somebody else is to help you get to a heightened level of success. So where I cap out, I got my man there who also supports me. That's the man behind the woman. One of these days, I'm still holding out hope. I'm still holding out hope that somewhere, somewhere in the world, someone's gonna go up to Grant and say, wait a minute, aren't you Elena Cardone's husband? I'm convinced it could happen. But we're talking about what you can do on your own. And they, you know who they is? It's the American Medical Association that comes out with these terms like codependency. All these types of concepts and thoughts that you're supposed to like not depend on someone, so you're just, I'm all alone. It's not strength in numbers. But it is strength in numbers. It's not you can build an empire alone. No one's ever built an empire alone in the history of the planet. It takes people. And it certainly starts with the one you're in bed with. Right? So this codependency thing, I'm like, you know what? I'm a socket to him. You want me to think small. You want me to be separated. You want men and women not to get along. Why? Because we're weaker when we're together. I can be as strong as I can be. I'm not saying I'm a weak, cowardly chick without Grant. I'm just saying that with him, I am stronger. I am more powerful. I am better with him. Why? because I found the one that I trust and I'm building an empire with him. And because we understand now, it's Valentine's Day, we understand what love is. You know, I always thought love was like this hand-holding. Like, look, I've evolved into the person I've been right now. I'm telling you, I was horrendous when we first got together, okay? I was horrendous. The man has had patience with me. The man really has had patience with me. Like, my God, when I first got together with him, I was like, don't try to control me. I'm not making you a meal. I'm not going to be some subservient woman. Don't even ask me. Like, you know, he wanted kids right away. I was conditioned. That was another thing, you know? I was like, I was anybody else like this, or is this just me? I mean, seriously, like, it kills me. You know, my most important role in my life has been a mother, but yet, that first half of my life, I didn't want to be a mom. You know why? I didn't want to be a mom. Because I thought I was going to be a sellout if I gave up my career and I became just a mom. Like, that was somehow horrifying and despicable, like becoming just a mom. And when I first had our first daughter, which I was so excited about, but I was terrified that when I went to a party, you know, when they asked Grant, what do you do? And Grant was like, I, I run a multi-million dollar business in this. And they'd get to me and say, what do you do? And I'm like, mm, 
I quit my career for that time period because I wanted to be with my children. And thank you. And I, and I didn't know what to say. I would try to plan it out in my head when they asked me what I would do because I didn't want to say, I'm just a mom. Can you believe that? That I would be ashamed to say that I'm just a mom. It freaking kills me because think about it. I thought about it. I have the right, you have the right to your own free thoughts. And when you think about it, you think about who we are as women. We have the ability to bring life into this planet. <laughs> that women, whether you decide to be a mom or not, we as women, as species, we are responsible for rearing children to become productive members of society. We are responsible for the continuation of only mankind. That's right. So I thought about it. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm responsible for the forward motion of civilization? I'm responsible for like civilization? My God. You know what? I can't wait until women really, really own who they are and what our value is to this world. Because we will never hear, I'm just a mom, ever again. We will all make a declaration. We will never say just a mom. And this is what the party should look like, OK? For all the moms out there that do a damn good job. We're not freaking perfect. Who's got the book on perfect? But well, we try, right? But wouldn't it be amazing if you show up at a party and they're like, what do you do? And Grant's like, oh yeah, well I run a multi-billion dollar d -d 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 You know, I got my swag, you know, I'm Grant Cardone. And then they come to me and they're like, and what do you do? And I'm like, I have reared two productive contributing members of society. I've raised two children. And then they would look at me and be like this. Wow. You're a mom. Thank you for your service. Thank you for the continuation of the civilization. <laughs>